everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you guys notice we've been kind of missing for the last week. Um, we've been very busy taking care of some personal things. On top of the weather also was playing a very, very uh, horrible role <laughs> in our week last week. We got about four inches of rain last week and that was over a two day period. Um, it was pouring so it kind of prevented us from coming outside and doing a lot of the stuff that we want to get done as you guys know it is springtime and there are so much things we want to get done outside so the weather is very important to us so seeing how it has been um, a little over a week since you guys have had an update I think I'm gonna update you guys on uh, kind of what my garden's doing I planted some roses on the last video you guys seen and they're doing so well um, they're actually starting to bloom this is my first rose right here it is beautiful, smells just like a rose. Um, I got other ones that are starting to bloom. These ones, I think probably by tomorrow, they should be popped open. And I think those are the orange ones and they look so beautiful. So all of my roses are doing very, very well. They all have buds and they're all about ready to bloom. But this one, even though it's blooming and it's you know, got more buds on it, it's got a little bit of a problem here. It kind of like dried out on the top. It was very wilted. Um, so I've been giving it like some extra water. Um, I did miracle grow it a couple days ago and that seemed to kind of perk it really back up. But if you guys notice just right underneath here, I have like, it's like all these, all my leaves underneath are turning yellow and it's just this one rose bush. All my other ones, that one's doing well. And then the two on the other side are doing well. This one's just turning yellow and I have no idea why. So if you guys have any suggestions or questions maybe have an idea of what I can do to maybe help this one out a little bit because I don't want to lose it. Um, comment below and let me know what you guys think. We were kind of thinking maybe um, the dogs might have, you know, did their business on that one because after I planted it and later on that day when I noticed it was very wilted, it um, all the dogs were out and they ran over there and they were just sniffing and sniffing and sniffing and uh, Bruce actually was like lifting his leg and about ready to take care of business on it. So I was like, maybe that's why it's not doing so well. You know, maybe the, it's killing that plant. I just, I don't want it to die. <laughs> so another exciting thing that's happening around here, cause as you guys know, spring is in the air around here. Well, about a month ago, we bred Jessica. I wasn't sure if it was successful or not. And then we ended up breeding her two weeks later. Uh, and just to be sure, we put the box in right now and she has been ripping all of her hair out. Like it's a big old giant ball of fluff inside there. So I'm like hoping that the first time we bred her was successful because if it wasn't, I don't know why she'd be ripping her hair out. And she has been in that nesting box like for over an hour since I put it in there. She's like nonstop in there. So I really do think maybe tomorrow or tonight we'll wake up and we'll have some more baby bunnies around here, which you guys know I love baby bunnies. So question is baby, how many babies do you think that she's gonna have? Well, Snowball had five. Uh huh. I'm just gonna say six. Oh, that's what I was gonna say too. But I, I don't know. Yeah, she, I, she hasn't had them yet. No, I think she's gonna have six. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. I mean, I hope she has five. That would be really cool. I don't want more than like six to eight. Yeah. I, I think six is the good number. That yeah. way all the babies, they have enough um, mama time. Yeah. And they're feeding and stuff, not to one of them get, you know, X'd out. Yeah. The conclusion kind yeah. of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we'll see. We're going to see. I Hopefully she's going to be a good mama too. Yeah, so. I think, you know what? I think she's going to be a good mama. Now that she's like doing her thing in the, the nesting box, I can see that she, it's, kicking in for her in yeah. uh, motherly instincts so is. yep so another exciting thing is we move the other babies into their grow out yes and they absolutely love it in here <laughs> they are still so cute let's see that one is running around well look at they have like room to do aerobics yeah. and you know they can you know dance around and stuff yeah, there's so much room in there. And I'm glad we looked because I forgot to lock it about 20 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, wow, well, yeah. And then with all of them pushing up <laughs> against there, that would well, not Well, they be only good. push up when we're in here, but yeah. they're, they're not brave enough to jump out. They want to, <laughs> but they don't. Yeah. So this little lady right here, we did sex them. I don't remember if I told you guys. I don't think we did. 
Okay, well, I'm going to tell you guys right now. So, <laughs> luckily enough, so we got two black ones, as you guys know. The smaller of the black one, which I can always tell which one's a little smaller. This is a female. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hopefully I'm not spilling too much beans, because I don't know for sure. But Melanie and Gary are going to take this cute little lady right here. Yep. So, they need a female. She's so cute. Yeah, and, cute. um... I, I I told them that they can have first pick yeah. of the females around here. And then we only got one other female. We got two females, three males. So this one right here is the other female. And she is so adorable also. Yeah, she's, cute. she's like her mama. Yeah. <laughs> right? She's got the oh, oh, she's got the dark ears, the dark nose. And they're already being rabbits. <laughs> jumping around, trying to get away. They're not as, as baby, cuddly little fur balls as much. They're still very cute, though. Yeah. And so this is the other female. And so I think my mom, my mom is going to take this one. She wanted one, too. And my mom's actually going to make this her pet. <laughs> right? She, my mom's an animal lover like we are. So. Yeah, so that one's in for a real uh, treat. Spoiled rotten is what she's going to be. Yeah, spoiled rotten girl right there. Yep. Same thing with Melanie and Gary. Oh, yes. you know, all yeah. the animals around here yes. are spoiled guys. Yeah. They are. Yeah. And um, so that one right there is the other female. And then these are the three males right here. These two and this guy. And so I honestly think though, guys, I think I'm going to keep this guy. Yeah. The all black male. Because, um, you know, we got these these bunnies from Ridge Life from Tim. And uh, I've said this before, but just say it again just in case you guys didn't hear it. But he's, he's never had all black bunnies. Like out of the ones he's bred, he says he's never gotten any. I don't want them to jump out. I know, just, that's just nice. in case. <laughs> he's never gotten all black bunnies. And so when these were born, he was he was kind of like, man, that's I'm really happy to hear that those genes, like for all black, are in there. Yeah. Um, nice. I know I'm watching. <laughs> and so I can't, I can't part with this little guy. I mean, I wish I couldn't part with any of them. Like, but they are here for a reason. Yeah. You know, guys. Like, it, I know. Teach their own. I understand. Yeah. I understand, guys. Um, it's gonna be a rough one, but I'm trying to give all of these bunnies away, so none of them have to get processed. Um, but. You know, most people don't need male bunnies. No, not males. I hate males. to say it. And both of the females are taken, so. Yeah, and here's a male, and he's so cute. Yeah, they're all super cute. They I'm, are. You know, I'm curious to see how we're going to feel when Jessica has her babies. You know what I mean? Because I always say that I think part of the reason why we're so attached to these guys is because it's, the first time. it's our first litter we've ever had. I know. Well, and that was kit, why I should say yeah a kit right and, that, and yeah. that's why I wanted to give every single one of them away yeah, yeah. to to a home that wants them um, not for freezer camp for yeah. a pet or a breeder um, so I'm trying I'm trying <laughs> I have th uh, two more males <laughs> that need a home um, and, and then really cute. and really then cute. after after that first after these guys um, then all the babies are going to have a purpose. So yeah, it is just what it is. But these guys are so cute. They're so big already. I know. So I mean, they're what? Seven weeks old? Seven, seven and a half. Yeah. Well, they were seven yesterday. Yeah. Get over here and let me love you. Yeah. <laughs> Get over here and let me love you because I love you. Yeah. This is the little, the little male. So I'm going to have to probably, um, refit this grow out just with a little you know three foot by three foot section for him yeah, we, we but that's just, more than enough room for a grow out, even even with that in there yeah yeah yeah. so i mean i was gonna say this is as big as this one so we could actually divide it into three if we really wanted to. If i really wanted to but i might i don't think i'm gonna do that i think i'll just they don't need a lot of room guys i mean i know you guys think they do they really don't no. rabbits they don't no I mean, um, ours are pretty happy. Yeah, they're content. I see, yeah. I see him hopping around and playing and having a good time. Yeah. Loafing around too. I mean, I wish I can give every single rabbit a big old giant hutch like this. It's just unfeasible. Yeah. They just, they'll, they'll stay in one little corner when they're older, and that's that. Yeah. Um, but these guys love this giant thing. They're always hopping around yeah. and playing. Running back and forth. Yeah. So we try. We we treat them nice, guys. Yeah. But. yeah. 
Very exciting stuff going on around here. Oh yes, spring is in the air. Yes. So many exciting things happening around here, but we need to add some more things to this excitement. Um, I have tried to plant pumpkins for the last two years. Uh, the first year I planted them, they bloomed, they were growing, um, but then I think like a frost or something. I think it was a frost. Yeah, we had that Arctic blast. It came through and froze my plants and killed them. So I ended up not getting any pumpkins off of them. Um, and then I did plant some last year towards the end of summer, the end of the grow season, to try to grow some pumpkins for um, Halloween. I planted them where I thought they would be right on track, right on time. <laughs> Turned out I wasn't very successful at it. Um, they grew, I had like a little tiny pumpkin that was growing and uh, between the bug infestation and the weather, they just didn't make it. So this year, <laughs> I have decided that instead of waiting till towards the end of the grow season to plant, I'm going to plant them when I planted all my other squ uh, squash. In this garden bed right here, I do have some zucchinis and some yellow summer squash planted. So I figured I might as well get these pumpkins in the ground. They're a squash. I figured um, it should give them plenty of time to survive and, you know, actually grow some p decent sized pumpkins. That's what I'm, that's my plans. Now, will I have pumpkins for Halloween? Probably not, but I do have plans that I'd like to do with these pumpkins other than carving them out and making jack-o'-lanterns. So tilling this dirt right here hasn't really been smooth sailing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been a little rocky. Um, some pretty big boulders in right here. And actually, Anthony just dug up a really big one. Wait till after the rain. Yeah. Do this. So the ground's moist and soft. So I mean, those are some. Those are probably the two biggest ones you've pulled out yet. And then there's a big fat one right there. Yeah, but this is such nice dirt. Oh yeah, look at this dirt, guys. It is so nice and it smells good and it looks good um, I mean other than a bunch of rocks yeah well we're getting them out we are picking we're them out them as out. we go slowly but surely yeah Say you better get a bunch of pumpkins out of this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's no reason why I shouldn't get any pumpkins out of this big old thing. <laughs> no, but you are gonna have to worry about them squash bugs. Yeah, I do have a plan. So one thing I think I'm gonna do also differently with like the pesticide and bug control out here. Last year I was using um, Dawn dish soap and like water. I did try neem oil for a little while, but that was kind of after the fact that I just was totally infested with bugs. Um, so I don't want to try those two things this year. I actually bought like a, it's an all natural like pesticide bug spray that I'm going to try. Um, I read some reviews and did some research and um, it seems like they're going to be work out pretty good. So like this, I know this is all in ground stuff. We have these left over. I thought this would be a good, just on the ground thing to make it look nice. What do you think, babe? No, I think these are gonna be really good. Plus, so, I kinda like that it kinda just marks out where the in-ground stuff's at, cause. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, just to lay it down here. Because knowing my luck, I'll well, plant how, it. <laughs> it will rain and I won't know where anything's at. <laughs> look how bent this one is, it's all burnt. 
Yeah, it's a little, a little warped there. That's yeah. all right. I mean, I can use a stakes and stake them down. Nah, you don't need to do all that. I think I they'll thought be... this looked cool. I thought this would look cool. Yeah. Because we don't. Uh, of course. We're gonna have one that's too long. <laughs> I don't want to cut it. Uh, maybe you can just overlap it a little bit or something. I don't know. Let's see. Lillian. That's not that bad. I can't. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it looks good. I think it looks great. Like I said, it's just marking it. Yeah, it's just so we know where. It's, it's for looks. Yeah. It's literally just for looks. Yeah. It ain't doing anything. No, it's not serving. It's just for uh, looks. It's not a cat barrier or anything. Uh, be like. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh. Well, it's sticking out in the front. Mm. <laughs> hey, use what you got. Yeah, use what you got, right? Yeah, it's a, it ain't very straight. No. Well, there it is. The parameter, he did replace that last one down there. It was too... <laughs> it was too warped. But I think it looks good. Yeah, I think it'll look even better when all the pumpkins are growing. I'm all about, like I said, using what we got. Yeah. And that, at least, like you said, separates. Even though you can see it separated. Yeah. But I, you know, this will be good. No, it'll be good. If we, if you decide you like, if you decide you like in-ground stuff on this side instead of just in the back, then we'll make like a more permanent thing. Yeah. Make it really nice, you know, but let's just see how it works out this season and go from there. Yeah. Which ones do you think about planting this year? Well, I think I'm going to plant these pumpkin autumn gold bush uh, pumpkins this year um, they say they grow 15 to 18 pounds perfect for making jack-o-lanterns yeah yeah and um, I was when I went to go buy these like out of all the seeds these pumpkins were like the most gone so I'm like mm, I wonder if these are popular around here So one of our main goals last year was to have pumpkins for Halloween, like Roxanne said earlier. So I really, really hope these ones take off because I think that would be so cool to be able to harvest your own pumpkins. Yeah. Have your own pumpkin seeds during the fall season and for Halloween and all that kind of stuff. Um, never had that before and I really think that would be very awesome. So wish us luck, guys. There has been a couple of you guys asked for updates on certain dogs around here. Bruce is doing fantastic around here, guys. So is Ghost. We have him on the lead right now, hanging out with us. But Bruce is doing very good, guys. He's a uh, Ghost gets very jealous, as you can see. Don't get so jealous, dude. So jealous. But Bruce is doing very good around here, guys. He's learning. He still jumps up. I'm trying to teach him not to jump up. Um, but you can only try so much, right, at one time. He does sit, he does wait for his food. He does all that good stuff. He's such a good dog. You know what, he is part of the family now. And he complains every morning. And as you guys say, he bays. I didn't know it was called baying. Everybody had to let me know how it's called baying, not howling. But he's been baying, right, every single morning to let me know he's awake and ready to come hang out for the day. But Bruce is fitting right in, eating grass, getting ghost jealous. Right, Bruce? How you doing? Yeah. Is that how this is? I mean, it's funny because I was talking to Bruce, right? And I was like, hey, Bruce, I love Disney movies. And he's like, oh, yeah, me too. I'm all, what's your favorite movie? He's like, it's Dumbo. Dumbo is my favorite. My favorite Disney movie of all time is Dumbo.
Well, it looks good, baby. Yeah, I think it looks, it actually, this dirt looks <laughs> just like my garden bed dirt. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Nice and dark. Yeah. <laughs> good, good dirt. Let's hope, guys. Let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope and hope. We got more stuff we got to get done today inside the house, guys. So we're going to get back on this in the morning. Well, baby, <laughs> I think we have babies in there. <laughs> <laughs> Getting done with a garden just to go check in. Yeah, I thought I just got done putting the tiller away and I said, you know, I'm gonna swing by and just check. And I just I'm sitting here staring and I see a, something moving around and she's, you know, she looks a little thinner too. <laughs> she's not as fat. Yeah. And she, you know, she's checking the box and stuff. Well, I don't want to bug her. I'm gonna see if I can get a sneak peek. Yeah. Not the best view, guys, but look, you can see him moving around. I don't want to bug her. Yeah, I don't. She, she just had them. Yeah, like, she must have just had them within the last hour. Yeah, now she's over there eating. So. I wonder how many there are. I don't know. It looks like a lot. So when you're grabbing those, I counted. I didn't touch them. There's ten. 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 Whoa. Wow. Miss Jessica. Wow. But that's not a good thing though, because she's only got, I think, eight teats. Yeah, they, that's what they say. So there might be a couple that might not make it. Ten. Ten. I just that's unbelievable. And we just I Ten. said we said six, so we were way off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what a good mamas. Yeah, good girl, mama. You want that? Yeah, I'm gonna need your strength back up after all that with ten babies. I can't believe that. Ten babies. Ten babies? That's what you made? Ten babies? Well, he's a father of fifteen so far. Wow, get it. He ain't playing around. No, he ain't. He's more concerned about how he's a father again. <laughs> yeah, the babies. Than anything. He's like, I'll eat that carrot later. Yep, those are all your babies over there. Yep. We're not going to leave you left out, Snowball. No, you're going to get one for being emotional support for yep. uh, Jessica. I'm sure you were there helping. Emotional support. You got it, girl. Yeah, you got push. push. You got it. I did it. You can do it. Yeah, but once she got to five, she didn't know what to do. She's all, wait a minute. <laughs> I only had five. You had ten? Yeah. <laughs> they just keep coming. Good mamas, both of you guys so far. Uh, ten. That's amazing. That's amazing. Ten babies. We decided not to take Bruce, Ghost, or Mora down here today because we are trying to spread out <laughs> the walks. Yeah. <laughs> now that we have so many more dogs and the cats follow us around. And if you guys can see, they always follow us around. We got Michonne, Midnight, and Ghost just got out again. Yeah, we got a little problem. We have a problem with Ghost escaping, so, well. Anyway, we didn't want them out here because they chased the cats around, especially Bruce. Ghost, unbelievable. Little update on the baby bunnies. They're about, I'd say a day old now, a few hours shy of a day, but they are doing very, very, very well as of right now. Um, I just checked up on them. And actually I was kind of like moving some of the fur and like looking at them, trying to get an, accu an accurate count of how many are in there. And I think there is 12 babies in there. Um, 
It seems like the vast majority of them are either gonna be black or brown. And then there's like some, I don't know if they're spotted or white, but they're gonna be white baby bunnies. So, but moving all that around and like counting them and actually like looking to see how many are in there. And like I said, I think there's 12 baby bunnies in there. Now, if all of them are going to make it, I am not sure. Um, like Anthony's mentioned earlier in the video that um, rabbits, they only have like 12 uh, teats, eight, sorry. <laughs> they only have eight teats. And if there's 12 babies, that means four of them aren't gonna get enough food. Or, you know, there'll be a couple of the ones that don't get any because everybody else is so much bigger and stronger. So, but I have my fingers crossed that maybe some, you know, weird thing happens where she can take care of all of them and they'll all survive. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would be. Yeah, you know, having 12 baby bunnies. I can't believe it though. 12? That's insane. And so we did have this screen door for the front front of the house. The entire time we've had our other screen doors, mm -hmm. there was just no need to put it on there without a covering yet. But now that we got the porch done, it's time to get it done. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this done and then you got just a couple more things to do in the garden. I think we're done for the day. Yeah, just a couple things left for, to plant. Yeah, and then I'm what, good to go for the grow season. How exciting. Yep, yeah, for what we wanted to do. Yeah, split there, so be careful. No, we're not allowed to move out of it. Make sure it fits. Matter fits now, so yeah. I think we did. I think we did. I think so. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, cool. Get that going now. Yay. <laughs> One. really nice baby it's a little dirty yeah well <laughs> from us cutting it yeah and it has been sitting inside the pole barn for a little over a year yeah, about a year or so i'm yeah. glad to get this on it's yeah. a small little tiny thing to do <laughs> yeah no and it looks so nice yeah looks good it changes the feel of the deck again it does yeah i'm all about that <laughs> All right, one last thing to plant in this garden so I can officially start this grow season. And I'm actually going to be planting some giant sunflowers. For the last few years now, I've been actually really wanting to plant some, but just the time comes and goes before I even have a chance to get them in the ground. But I am prepared this go around, guys. And I was thinking this back here on this fence line was a perfect spot for them. One, when they get really big, I can kind of tie them up against the fence. But two, I just think looking out from the front deck, out the windows and stuff, and seeing like a wall of sunflowers, it's gonna look so pretty back here. Even though I'm digging in this little spot, 
There's so many rocks. I will say that dirt looks really good back here though too. It is really good dirt. <laughs> it's like the rest of your dirt. Yeah. A forest? Enough. 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 <laughs> these, ones, these ones are like 12 feet tall, I think, right? Yeah, I got the giant sunflowers. Um, they said 12 feet, 10 that's to a, 12 feet tall. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know you can come in here, Twister. You can come in here if you want. You can come in. Come hang out. All right. I think that's gonna do it. I'm so excited to watch these sunflowers grow. Uh, not only did I plant like the 10, 12 footers ones, I actually actually planted a five, six footer ones too, like in between, so like every other one. So I think it's gonna look so good when they start growing and uh, so excited. <laughs>